It's our last day. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, we want to uh, go to God in prayer. We're believing that today God is going to put the icing on the cake. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the wonderful privilege of coming together and worship. We give you glory and honor and praise. Father, we open our hearts and our minds to receive from you. We thank you for your word that will be deposited in us today. Thank you for the engrafted word of God that brings life to each one of us. Cause me to speak as an oracle of God for each one of us to receive what you have for us today. Your grace upon us to be able to implement these truths. That you would be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want you to, uh, thank you, turn to uh, 1 Thessalonians. The book of 1 Thessalonians. This is a wonderful passage of scripture. Most of the uh, writings of Paul's, of his letters, the writings of Paul's letters, were letters of uh, correction. <laughs> the uh, move of God was taking place in going to the Gentiles. There were works being raised up in all the different uh, regions and cities. And many times when you're starting something new, there's what we call a, a learning curve. In the process of learning, sometimes you do things uh, not very good. And it takes a while to, to begin to learn to do them better and better. So there's a learning curve. It's okay. Some people never want to do anything for God. Because they're afraid of not doing it perfectly. It's okay to start. And have a learning curve. Our children learn that way. I don't know about your children, but my kids didn't come out of the womb and jump up and start running around. They had a learning curve. They had to learn to sit up, crawl, stand, fall, bumps and bruises, finally start walking, and eventually run. It took time. Most of all the early, early works of God, they had that learning curve. So most of Paul's letters were letters of correction. 
You need to change this. You need to correct this. You need to implement this. Those are the kind of letters that were written. But the letter to the church at uh, Thessalonica. This letter was different. This letter was a letter of encouragement. The Apostle Paul was excited. At what this, this church in this community was doing. This is a great example for us. How many of you think that if, it, if, this, if this early work received the approval of the Apostle Paul, if it received the approval of the Apostle Paul, that it's good enough for us? If, if, if this church in Thessalonica received the approval of the Apostle Paul, then it should be good enough for us. Let's read. Uh, I'll read it. Let's go verse by verse. Uh, chapter 1. First Thessalonians chapter 1. Let's start in verse 2. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. Непрестанно памятуя ваше дело веры, труд любви, терпения, упования на Господа нашего Иисуса Христа перед Богом и Отцом нашим. Knowing, beloved brethren, your election of God. Зная избрание ваше. For our gospel came not unto you in word only. Возлюбленные Богом братья, потому что наше благословение у вас было не только в слове. But also in power and the Holy Ghost in much assurance, as ye you know. What manner of men we were among you for your sakes. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord uh, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. И вы сделались подражателями нам и Господу, принявши Слово при многих скорбях с радостью Духа Святого. So that we were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. Так что вы стали образцом для всех верующих в Македонии и Ахаи. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to uh, God word is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we have unto you and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Ибо сами они сказывают о нас, какой вход имели мы к вам, и как вы обратились к Богу от идолов, чтобы служить Богу живому и истинному. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. И ожидает с небес сына его, которого он воскресил из мертвых, Иисуса, избавляющего нас от грядущего гнева. We've been teaching about how to move towards your dreams. Мы учим the purposes of God. Your destiny that you have in Him. Now, this particular church was born out of a Macedonian call. The Apostle Paul wasn't planning on going there. You remember the story in the book of Acts? Where he had a vision of a man that was standing over in Macedonia. 
beckoning Paul to come unto him. It changed the course, I believe, of, of, of his direction. That caused the gospel to come to Thessalonica. Think about that for a moment. The first principle is that they were an elected people of God. They were special. Now, we may look and think, well, that's them. If you're not convinced of your calling in God, get out of the ministry. Go find something else to do. You must be convinced that you are called of the Lord. And if there is a calling, there is an election. He looks at you and counts you as special. Don't ever discount and think that, well, I mean, others are special. Никогда не думайте, ну ладно, другие они особенные. Others have have wonderful callings. У других такие чудесные призвания. No, you must be convinced that you you are special. Нет, это не тот случай. Вы даже сами будете убеждены, что вы особенные. Look at somebody next to you. Посмотрите на вас. Look at me in the eye. Посмотрите ему в глаза. Say you're special. И скажите, ты особенный. Tell them you're special. Ты особенный. I want you to hear that. You must believe that. God says you are special. Peter wrote to us that we are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. God believes we are special. Too many times we see our own failure. Our own shortcomings. The humanity. But God has chosen to use man to preach His Word. We know that it's God in us, the hope of glory. We know that in this flesh there's no good thing. And yet He loves us. We're the best He has. We're all he's got to work with. So he's going to use us. So we have to believe that. Or you won't have the confidence. You won't have the confidence that's needed. The confidence. Yeah, it, if you don't believe it, you won't have confidence. You are His chosen one. And wherever you're called to ministry, step into His calling. You are chosen. Look what else He said. See, that, that was in verse 4. But this church was also born out of power. There's an empowering empowerment that causes us to accomplish the things that God has before us. He said that we didn't come to you just in word only. But it was in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's about being born of power. We're different from other religions. Others who have other uh, faiths and beliefs that are outside the covenant of God. 
и они находятся за пределами Завета Бога. They have no power. У них нет силы. But we can be confident. Но мы можем быть уверенными. That God gives to us His power. Что Бог дает нам свою силу. There's a power available to us. Что у нас есть доступ к силе. It's the grace of God. Это благодать Бога. You understand the difference between mercy and grace? Понимаете разницу между милостью и благодатью? Mercy says, I choose to not give you what you deserve. I have mercy on you. I thank God for mercy. Because I know what I deserve. I know. I thank him for his mercy. That he doesn't give me what I deserve. Grace gives us what we don't deserve. We didn't earn it. We weren't good enough to receive this. This is by his choosing. That he gives us his power. His grace. The Apostle Paul understood the grace of God. Oh, he was a grace man. All the way through the, his writings. He's always talking about the grace of God. The grace of God. Why? Because it's his power. That, that, that makes us to become what we could not be on our own. It is His grace that causes us to be able to, uh, that, that helps us accomplish what we could not accomplish on our own. That is the grace of God at work in our lives. It's the grace of God at work in our churches and our congregations. It's His power that enables us. We know it's not us. But it's His power. We have to keep that power. Нам нужно сохранить эту чтобы она действовала в нашей жизни. С помощью Его благодати. И Его Духа. И Его помазанник. Поэтому первое, мы понимаем, что мы избраны Богом. Что у нас есть Его сила, Его благодать. Давайте третье посмотрим. It says in verse 8, uh, excuse me, in verse 7, that they became examples to all who believed in Macedonia and Achaia. They had become examples. God wants us to be examples to others. Yes, we have election. Yes, we have empowerment. But it's to make us examples to others. It's, it's, it's not for us to just have uh, all these wonderful blessings contained within our own fellowships. There is a reason God blesses us. He told Father Abraham, I will bless you to be a blessing to the nations of the world. We are to become examples. They had become examples. How are you being an example? Your, your church or congregation needs to become an example. If, if, if uh, in, our, in our city, we've had some, uh, uh, some things that have happened where the, the leaders of our city, they, they needed help. Uh, a year ago, Two years ago, 
We had hurricanes that hit the coastline of Texas. During that time, they had to evacuate many of the big cities on the coast. They had to set up shelters in other cities. And as they were setting up shelters in other cities, our city, San Angelo, was one of those cities. Our, our mayor and city manager came to us. A church? Yes. He said, can you help us? Our people of our congregation worked hard day and night setting up places for sleeping we had just moved into our, our new facility our old facility was still vacant it was turned into a housing for, for all those who were fleeing the hurricane we had volunteers gathering food and clothes and bedding and everything that was needed. We had the, the big Coliseum in our city was the first primary uh, um, housing. The Coliseum, the it, that was the first primary. Yeah, that, that was the, the first place that they came, and the others began to be open. We, we organized this. We reached out to our city. I believe that our cities when the rapture takes place or if somehow your church or congregation was taken from your city that they would miss us. I've asked God to help us. I want to have the kind of influence and impact in our community. That if we went away, the city would weep. They would miss us. But the only way to do that is to be examples. Examples in our love. Examples in our care for others. Examples with the compassion of Christ. Examples in our faith. We must be examples. This early church had become an example. Their labor of love. The, the patience of hope. Their work of faith. They had become examples. The next one. It says in verse 8. He says, From you sounded the word of the Lord not only in Macedonia. But also in Achaia. But also in every place your faith to God is spread abroad. So that we don't even need to speak anything. Isn't that powerful? The word of God had gone out. It had gone out from the believers of that day. But the apostle, the apostle Paul said, we don't even have to come say anymore. 
The known world at, in that day, in that time, had heard the word of God because of these believers. They were excited about it. They were enthusiastic about what God had done. I don't know about in the English or in the, in the Russian, but in the English, the word enthusiasm comes from a Greek word, from, from, from uh, God's word. It means in God to become beside yourself. Some of us need to get beside ourselves. Some of you need to get some excitement. Некоторым из вас нужно получить это как бы радость. Аллилуйя. хочу еще сказать. Что мы в общинах. Мы на работах. В школах. И наша вера. Many times it's часто вот как выглядит. Очень We we live our day. Just like everybody else. Just like everybody else around us. We they, they, they show up at work on Monday morning. They have bad attitudes. They moan and complain about work. Family problems. Financial problems. And we enter right in and we start complaining with them. That's, that's not in God being beside yourself. Это не значит, что как бы, вы вышли из себя. Совсем... Это не значит, что вы восхищение, восторге. Не знаю, как вы. Но когда я родился от его духа, я был прощен И теперь мое прошлое осталось в прошлом. Я вошел в завет с Богом. И понял, что Бог мне дал. Я понимаю, что Бог дает мне. I got beside myself. Я вышел из себя. I was a new creation. Я стал новым творением. All things had passed away. Все прошло. All things had become new. Старое стало новым. It wasn't for me to now just hold it within myself. Это не просто теперь я стою все себе тяжу. And finally I get to the church, get into the congregation. И наконец я прихожу в церковь мужчину. And then I let it out. And then I leave. I walk outside the doors. I cross the threshold of the door of, of, of the church building. He said, I would preach at the drop of a hat. I would preach at the drop of a hat. Yes, somebody give me a hat. So help this, help her out somebody. I would preach at the drop of a hat. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the instant. On the instant. But I would throw my hat down to preach. Yeah, I got a little crazy. I preached where I went. I preached where I went. I believe that that is part of the Great Commission.
We hear the Bible say, go into all the world and preach the gospel. But in the original language it says, as you go, preach the gospel. And it's about having enthusiasm. In God, get beside yourself. In our workplaces. In our schools. In our neighborhoods. People are looking for the real thing. They're looking for the real thing. They're let the real Christians stand up. The true Jesus followers. Rise up. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I work construction, you remember? I told you I worked, I grew up in working construction. I was, I was building major buildings. We would sit down to eat lunch. Everybody would be opening their lunch boxes. Getting their food down. I'd open my lunch box. And pull my Bible out. I had food. Food. I was consumed with God. I was beside myself. I was enthusiastic. All of my friends that were around me. The co-workers that were around me. Even my own family. Yes, they thought I was crazy. <laughs> but it was just a matter of time. Until they were coming to me. Sometimes privately. <laughs> what is this that you have? What has happened to you? And I would tell them. And I would give it to him. Amen. If you want an excited people, if you want congregation and churches that are enthusiastic, Is what you get. The example that you are. 
тот пример, который ты даешь, вот такие же верующие будут вокруг тебя. I just don't know why God's doing this to me. Я просто не знаю, почему Бог это делает со мной. Where have they heard that from? Где ты это услышал вообще? Kind of like the movie Fiddler on the Roof. Наверное, это из фильма "Скрипач на крыше". Jewish movie, right? Еврейский фильм, да. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> but the children of Israel, oh, Israel. They had lots of murmuring and complaining. Они очень много жаловались, роптали. Is it true that one of the principles for the Sabbath? Разве не истина, что один из принципов Шабата? Is to not allow negativity to come out of your mouth. В том, чтобы негативные слова не исходили из ваших уст. Jesus said, "By your words, you will be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. Your attitude is going to determine how you experience life." We have to become enthusiastic. The next thing we see is they were very evangelistic. It wasn't for just us few people and no more. No, they were they, they understood that God wanted his kingdom to grow. Они понимают, что Бог хочет расширения Его царства. Jesus said, I've come to seek and say that which is lost. Иисус говорил, я пришел спасти, искать, спасти погибшие. And they had a hard time many times because Jesus was ministering to people that they wouldn't have ministered to. Часто у них возникали проблемы. Иисус служил тем людям, которым они бы вообще никогда не служили. We cannot look down at other people. Нам не надо смотреть с высока на других людей. Even though we know that we're chosen, хотя мы знаем, что мы избраны. We know that we're special. Мы знаем, что мы особенные. It's okay to have that attitude. Это хорошо, когда есть такое понимание. In spirit, в духе. But not in critical judgment. Но не в критическом отношении. We won't win people by that. Мы не приобретем так людей. Jesus compared uh, winning people to his to the to the church, bringing people in. <coughs> to catching fish. Right? Now you can fish in different ways. Sometimes I fish with a rod and reel. With a hook. Sometimes you can fish with a net. You can fish in different ways. But we must become fishers of men. He told Peter. You will become a fisher of men. We have to learn to win people to Christ. Be careful that we don't have a mentality. That it's about converting them to doctrine. Where it's just about thought. It's about intellect. It's about a belief in in, in head knowledge. No, it's about a heart faith. Oh, the cause is a person. To be born in the Spirit of God. To where they become a new creation. 
We must have an understanding of the new creation. God wants to save the souls of men. That is Jesus' heartbeat. It's about being evangelistic. When I was born again, I experienced this uh, conversion. Not in church. Not with other Christians. Not with other believers. But in my bedroom. I did have a grandmother that was praying for me. But she was just praying. I did not fully uh, understand about Jesus. I was raised in a different type of belief. We read the Bible. But primarily it was based upon the covenant of Abraham. We did not see Jesus as the Messiah. I did not know what the term born again even meant. I did not know of the Holy Spirit of God. I didn't understand those things. But I was in a life of sin. My grandmother was praying for me. I wanted to change. So I got my Bible. And I began to seek after God. I would come in from work. I would go in my bedroom and I would shut the door. I would get on my knees. And I would cry out to God for help. I did this over and over and over again. I became uh, very disheartened or depressed. Because nothing was happening. Each day I would try very hard not to sin. But it was like it was as if the harder I tried, the worse I sinned. I think Satan knew that he was about to lose me. More and more temptations were coming to me. And I was failing. But I would go home at night. And I would get on my knees and cry out. One night while I was down praying and crying out to God. I had a vision. I saw myself sitting in a theater. I could see myself sitting there. And I was watching all of my life go across the screen. Like, like in a movie theater. So I'm looking at me sitting there. Watching my life. But only the things that were going across the screen were the sins that I had committed. All of the sins. All the way up. I'm in my early 20s. Lots of sin. And it's going across the screen. I became very, very broken. Crying out and asking God to forgive me. When I when I, I got up from prayer, on my closet door, of my bedroom, there was a visible image. There was a visible image of, I believe, to be the Holy Spirit. Only, only, from the, only from the chest up. I could see facial descriptions. I could see facial descriptions. It was, it was as if it was a man. It was a bright, white, glowing image. 
такой светлый, такой сияющий образ. Ничего подобного ранее не видел. Меня учили, что такого плана вещи не происходит. Мы не верили в сверхъестественное. Поэтому своим разом я пытался это приглушить. I began to tell myself, you didn't see that. No, no, no. I said, "Well, then, yes, I didn't see it. No, no. I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't know how to deal with it. So I turned away and, and went to bed. I just kept telling myself, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Or you were seeing things. But it's not real. I went to work the next day. I struggled very hard at work. I struggled very hard the next day. I, I came back into my room that night. I was about to get down on my knees. But I didn't want to face that door. So I went around the other side of the bed. <laughs> so I got down on my knees over here. So now I'm praying on the other side. I'm crying out to God for help. I'm asking Him to help me. I wanted to be free from my guilt and sin. I felt this presence. I didn't know how to describe it. But I could, I could, it was like it was in the air. I could feel it. It scared me. It I, I, I lifted up. Now I'm looking at my bedroom door. The, you know, the, the exit door from the bedroom. There's that image. Looking at me. It scared me. Again, I just turned away. You didn't. You cannot see this. That can't be real. I just got into bed. I turned my back to it. Kept my eyes closed. No, 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 no. I woke up the next day. I went to work. I had another very, very hard day. I came in that night. Feeling very defeated. I decided not to get down and pray. I didn't want to see nothing else. So I just, I just got into bed. And I got my Bible. And so I'm starting to try to read. And I'm struggling to understand. And I'm feeling very, very convicted. Чувствую такое осуждение, такое влечение. So I lay my Bible down on my chest. И поэтому кладу Библию на грудь себе. I'm lying in bed. Я лежу в своей спальне. And I begin to cry out to God. Я начинаю взывать к Богу. God, I want to serve you. О Бог, я хочу служить тебе. I want to be free from sin. Я хочу быть свободным от греха. And I begin to allow frustration to come out. И тут это мое разочарование, оно выходит из меня. I said, God. Я говорю, Бог. Can't you see that I'm wanting to live for you? Бог, ты что не видишь, что я хочу жить для тебя? Can't you see that I'm really trying? Ты что не видишь, что я пытаюсь? What do I have to do? Что мне надо сделать? What do I have to do? Что мне делать? And I had this this strong feeling on the inside. Это у меня странное сильное чувство внутри было. To lift my Bible up. Чтобы поднять свою Библию. So I lifted it up. Я поднял ее. And I looked down. И смотрю на нее. It was in the Gospel of John. И это было Евангелие от Иоанна. Chapter fourteen. Четырнадцатая глава. It was like verse six illuminated off the page. И такое ощущение, что шестой стих просто. This is where Jesus said. Просветился, высветился для меня. I am the truth. Иисус говорит, я истина. I am the way. Я путь. I am the life. Я жизнь. And no one comes to the Father except by me. And it was as if for the first time, for the first time, what Jesus had done 
дело это означало для меня что-то впервые It was if I understood that it wasn't about religion. It wasn't about just going to a church. Going to a fellowship. Being a part of some belief system. It was about believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. He was the way. He was the truth. He was the life. And I said, Jesus! I believe. I believe. And I had my eyes closed. And I was saying, I believe. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. And I opened my eyes. That same image <laughs> was now floating towards me. I understood what John the Baptist, when he baptized Jesus, said. That the Holy, that the Holy Spirit, as a dove, as As, as the not, not, not the form of a dove too many doves it's not doves as the form and not in the form of a dove but as a dove the spirit of God very gracefully the shoulders it was, it was just this floating presence of God it was coming closer and closer to me now I wasn't raised in Pentecost I wasn't raised Pentecostal I, I, wasn't, I wasn't raised with, with evangel, uh, evangelical faith и я не рос в евангельской мере. I wasn't raised with Jew, Jewish roots. Также я не рос с еврейских корнях, с еврейских корней я не вышел. I didn't go, praise the Lord, я, and raise my hands. Я не сказал, о, слава Богу, и поднял свои руки. No, no, no. О, нет, нет, нет. I looked at this presence that was coming towards me. Я смотрел на это присутствие, которое приближается ко мне. I rolled over. Я перевернулся face, на мое лицо, trembling and shaking. И трясся. I was afraid. Я испугался. But I felt this presence begin to come upon me. Но я чувствовал, как это присутствие сходило на меня. I went out. И я просто отрубился. That's all I remember. Все, что я помню. For many hours. Но несколько часов. When I came to When I, when, I came, when I woke up, the light was still on in, in my bedroom. But when I woke up, there was a light that was flowing out of me. It was brighter than the light in the bedroom. There was a joy on the inside. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. The burden of sin and weight of sin had been removed. I sat up in my bed and even though I had never seen people lift their hands and praise God, I began to lift my hands and give praise to God. I began to thank Him and praise Him. And then I thought this. I got mad. I got mad, angry. Why had not anybody shared this with me? Почему никто никогда раньше не рассказывал это во мне? Why hasn't somebody told me? Почему никто не рассказал мне? I thought, where are the others? Где другие? I thought, am I the only one? Что я один? Может, я один? Я подумал. Может, я как пророк? Я единственный остался вообще. Нет, были другие. 
about Moses' experience. Я думал об опыте Моисея. Is that it? Это все? And now I'm reading the Bible. И теперь я читаю Библию. It's alive. Живая. God's talking to me. Бог говорит со мной. And I read and he tells me. Я читаю, она говорит мне. To go fellowship with the other brethren. Иди, я общаюсь с другими братьями. I'm thinking, what are the brethren? А какие еще другие братья? There's more. Что, еще больше есть? There's more. Больше? No. Нет. What have they told me? А чего они мне не сказали? So I set off to go find them. Поэтому отправился я на их поиски. I had no understanding that there were other born-again people. И у меня не было вообще представления, что есть еще и другие, которые рождены свыше. I didn't realize there were so many. Я не понимал, что их так много. And yet I could not remember one time. И все же ни одного раза не могу вспомнить. That anybody had shared their faith with me. Что кто-то когда-то поделился своей верой со мной. That anybody had come to me. Чтобы кто-то пришел ко мне. Said Jesus loves you. И сказал Иисус любит тебя. He died to pay the price for your sin. И он умер, чтобы заплатить цену за твои грехи. Nobody. Никого. Nobody. Никого. Я подумал. There must be more. Должно быть больше, должно быть больше. There must be others. Должны быть и другие. They haven't heard. They haven't heard. They haven't heard the gospel. А, которые еще не слышали Евангелие. I must be the one. Я должен быть тем. I will go tell them. Я пойду скажу им. So everywhere I went. Поэтому куда я не иду. I told them about Jesus. Я расскажу им об Иисусе. On my hard hat at work, my construction hard hat, protected hat. On on my hat. На моей каске. On my hat. На моей каске. Jesus saves. Иисус спасает. Jesus saves. Иисус спасает. On my car. На моей машине. Bumper stickers. Какие наклейки, наклейки, наклейки. Jesus saves. Иисус спасает. I had booklets. У меня были буклеты. Tracks. Трактаты. I pass out to everybody. Всем раздаю. I would preach everywhere. Везде проповедую. I would go to the malls. Иду в магазины. Where where young people would hang out. Где зависают молодежь. Where they would have uh, video games. Где играют видеоигры. I would stand up on the benches. Стою я на скамейке. I would preach Jesus. И проповедую Иисус. Saves. Спасает. Delivers. Избавляет. Heals. Исцеляет. Receive His grace. Примите его благодать. Be born again. Родитесь свыше. I still do that. Я все еще это делаю. But now I'm on billboards. Но теперь я на этих билбордах пишу. Television. На телевидении. I look into the TV camera. Я смотрю в камеру телевизионную. Every week. Каждую неделю. And I say, some of you are standing out there today. Я говорю, кто-то сегодня избран. You need a relationship with God. Тебе нужны взаимоотношения с Богом. God wants you to be His child. Бог хочет, чтобы ты был Его ребенком. Call upon the name of Jesus. Назови к имени Иисуса. Be born again. Родись. You can be saved. Every service in our church. Every church service. Even when I was pastoring very little congregation. Every time I had a service. I always gave an altar call. Всегда я делал призыв к алтарю. To give people an opportunity to accept Christ. Дать возможность людям принять Христа. I never let an opportunity go by. Никогда я не упускал эту возможность. Without people having the chance. Чтобы у людей был шанс. To hear of His saving grace. Услышать о Его спасающем благодати. To come into a relationship with God. И прийти к взаимоотношениям с Богом. Every service now. На каждом служении сейчас. 
Every service now. На каждом служении сейчас. People were born again. Люди рождаются свыше. A long time ago. Очень давно. It wasn't so. Такого не было. I would give the altar call. Я делаю призыв к постоянным. Is there anybody here today? Есть ли здесь кто-то? You need to make Jesus Lord of your life. Чтобы Иисус стал Господом нашей жизни. It was a small congregation. Это была небольшая община. I would look out there. Другие смотрят. And I would go on the inside. Я смотрю в постоянно. I would say to myself. И затем говорю. Oh, I see this family. Oh, я вижу эту семью. I know them. Я их знаю. They're members. Говорю сам себе. Oh, I see this family. Вижу эту семью. I know them. Я их знаю. They've been born again. Они рождены свыше. Oh, I see this this lady. Oh, she's a servant of God. I see this one in heaven. Even though I see this one in heaven. Oh, pastor. He's believing for people to be saved. He believes somehow that God's going to bring other people into the congregation. He believes that God's going to bring other people into the congregation. Maybe we ought to invite somebody. Может нам кого-то пригласить? Pastor's going to give them an opportunity. Им папа даст им возможность. I need to bring them. Нужно их. I need to bring them. Нужно их завести. And the the people. И люди. Started bringing them. Начали приводить людей. Started bringing them. Начали приводить людей. As I would give an opportunity. Когда я давал эту возможность. People will be born again. То люди рождались свыше. It didn't start that way. But it's like that now. It's like that now. The Apostle Paul praised the Thessalonian church. That they were an evangelist. They were evangelists. This is a church. It was a true example. Была настоящим примером. A model for us. Пример, образец для нас. I pray that you'll receive this today. И я молю, чтобы вы приняли это сегодня. You'll take up these truths and take it back. Взяли эту истину и возвратили с ней в свои дома, в свои церкви, в свои школы. Where you are at. Где вы были? In your workplace. На вашей работе. In the streets. На улице. And that you'll let people know of His saving. И вы расскажете людям о вашей спасающей, его спасающей благодати. Я перестал осуждать людей уже очень давно. Я знаю, как много, много он простил мне. Это реальность для меня. Я не осуждаю их. Я решаю любить их. They may look unlovable. Возможно, они выглядят как недостойные любви. They may look like they're enjoying a life of sin. И они могут выглядеть, что они наслаждаются греховной жизнью. But I am convinced. Но я убежден. They have a void on the inside. Что внутри у них у них есть пустота. Waiting for Jesus. И которая ожидает Иисуса. Waiting. Ожидает. For somebody to come tell them. Чтобы кто-то пришел и сказал им об этом замечательном взаимоотношениях. Пожалуйста, будьте теми, кто пойдет и скажет. Отец, спасибо тебе. Спасибо за твое помазание. Lord, we want to be true to you. True to what you have called us to be. Истинами в том, к чему ты призвал нас. True to see others come to know you. For this purpose, you were willing to go to the cross. Give the very life flow of your blood. To go into the grave. To, to pay the price. For all of their sins. But to be resurrected, to send your spirit, to give them life, and life more abundantly. Please let us be the one.
Let us be like the prophet of all. That says, Lord, here am I. Send me. Send me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.